ChatGPT has real-time search, XT, and all of them need this real-time search and they need to be able to harvest that in and to deliver it to the agents, to deliver to the user. And I think what that is doing though, is that is creating a new value economy around information because OpenAI can't create that information themselves. They're reliant on third parties to provide that. And who are those third parties? They're the content creators, they're the brands themselves, they're the, the product inventories, they're all kinds of things that are out there. And I, I, think that's, I think that's the interesting thing here that kind of comes back into the virtual agent economies is that previously all of that content or up to today, all that content has been ad funded. Like it's, you know, it's been subsidized by advertising. A lot of, you know, brands have advertised on that and they have subsidized the content that exists there. But now because content owners are being disintermediated, that's kind of disrupting that, that mechanism there. But what you also have on the other side of it is the AI providers need the information because they need it for their user experience. So what it's creating is this dynamic of necessity where information is needed. The old models are being challenged and nobody's quite figured this out yet. And what does this mean for brands? Coming back to your point as well. Well, for brands, it means that if you're running display ad campaigns in a few years time, they might be challenged because you've been used to putting those in front of human eyeballs, but actually a lot of those eyeballs may not be eyeballs. They may be agents going and surfacing and, and interacting with information. And so what that's also driving is an interest and a real necessity to understand how do the frontier model providers surface information from real-time search? And how does they, how do they deliver that to users and how as a brand, do you operate that to work to your greatest benefit? And that is like the, and that goes for brands, but that goes to, goes for pretty much everyone in the world right now who has a stake in, in, in a presence in the internet. I think. That's a really interesting point around is the dynamic between the brands and, and these models. Uh, 